Most days, this quiet hamlet of 1,700 people is the picture of a sleepy American town, but not on this day. On Friday, the New Hampshire town of Unity became the center of the democratic political universe as former rivals stood before their supporters and declared common goals. Senator Hillary Clinton was the first to speak. We have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe in this hard-fought primary. But today and every day going forward, we stand shoulder to shoulder for the ideals we share, the values we cherish, and the country we love. The Unite for Change rally marks the first public show of unity for the two candidates after an epic 17-month battle for the Democratic presidential nomination. The significance of Friday's rally was not lost on the presumptive Democratic nominee. It's fitting that we meet in a place called unity because the truth is that's the only way we can solve the challenges facing this country. Today we look back at the votes that took place here in the snows in January. 107 votes for Senator Clinton, 107 votes for me, uh, but now we look at them as 214 votes for change here in America. Aided by an enthusiastic Both crowd, Obama heaped praise on his former rival. I've admired her as a leader. I've learned from her as a candidate. She rocks. She rocks. That's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> I am proud to call her a friend, and I know how much we need both Bill and Hillary Clinton as a party and as a country in the months and years to come. Exit polls conducted during the often heated primary season showed many Clinton backers would either not vote for Senator Obama or would side with Republican candidate John McCain. But Senator Clinton strongly urged her supporters to reconsider. She also took a jab at President Bush and his possible successor. In the end, Senator McCain and President Bush are like two sides of the same coin and it doesn't amount to a whole lot of change. The New Hampshire rally was the most visible event for the two senators since Obama was declared the likely Democratic nominee. The two met a day earlier at a closed-door meeting in Washington where Obama assured Clinton supporters that he would help pay down his former rival's $10 million campaign debt. Political analysts say both Democrats are doing what they need to do to heal party divisions because each needs the other as the general election in November draws closer. Millar Sega, VOA News.